started the company, I think we thought that we needed to be just like everyone else. Making just decent beers, but nothing that was really setting the world on fire. And through time, it kind of caught up with us. Our loan officer called and said, Mike, we can't keep doing this anymore. On Monday, we are going to put a lock on your door. We've put ourselves into this situation over beers that we weren't really even that proud of. And so, uh, sitting around the table drinking beers, we decided to, to follow this path of let's, let's brew beers that we want to drink. Beers that were bigger, bolder, more complex. From that came your dirty bastard, breakfast out, the curmudgeons, but that was just the beginning. You can't fake a recipe. It's got to be something that you pour your heart into. It's almost like being a chef and knowing how to use your ingredients and knowing what you're going after. Honestly, every single beer is a different living organism. What energy we put into it is what you drink. Anybody can make beer that tastes good. To make this beer taste the same every single time is where the challenge is. There's no glamour in beer making, but uh, there's a lot of glory in it. It's good to make something that you can actually be proud of. To us, this entire company centers around what's in that bottle. The craft beer enthusiasts are the adventurers. You know, every time I go to the supermarket and I see somebody with a six pack of our beer, it still gives me goosebumps. I think the craft beer culture just continues to get stronger and stronger. I always say the best thing you can do to somebody is introduce them to craft beer. It will literally open up a whole new world. I think beer brings people together. It's a part of your friendships. It's a part of falling in love. It's the whole thing. There's something that exists here that I can't even explain. 